this video will be trying to get the voltage out of um of a, a different amplifier or subdirecting amplifier whatever your teacher may like to call it so you could use superposition if you like of which i always try to avoid superposition because i sometimes feel like it's more complicated what do you do in superposition normally you normally kill some source work as work as if what if there was only that one and then kill the other one maybe if you say I kill this one and then make okay if i'm saying kill i mean make this on a ground and then solve if there's a ground and then make this on a ground and solve if this was a ground then that tells you got to get v not prime edited v prime two to get v not out so which is quite some um, work let's see if we can do it without doing superposition of which i don't really recommend so first we'll try to get the voltage here for current v plus which is equals to v minus the reason is virtual grounding this this one is equals to this one so what i'm saying what is voltage here i'll use a current device to move it like this so v v plus voltage here so once we call to the voltage supply which is v1 i'm here which is supplied and then the resistor i need to cover i still need to cover uh r3 if i'm here i still need to cover r3 then the sum of all the resistances will be r2 plus r1 okay now i have i have um my v plus just keep it here mm. now let's look at current here is the same as current here since there is no current going in here so current looking at this node current going out and current going in current going in will be v in and v minus of which is same as v plus uh, what i just done okay no, i'm back here okay so we'll have v2 minus v minus o over r1 so it equals to v minus r minus v naught over over this is r1 and this is r f and i'm trying to solve from this guy so if that is the case what can i do i think it's best that i just give everything its denominator i'll see exactly what i'm doing but this one if this one get it donated and go to the other side so become me minus v over f i already gave this thing a denominator and transposed it then here i'll have minus v not all over r f remember this is our focal point so now what we can do I honestly don't know. Oh, okay. But we did say V plus and V, others are the same. So I think that's not a big deal. Mm. Could multiply by RF throughout. So, so this is of RF all over R1 minus R F all over R1 minus RF all over RF. And then I've got to move V not. Uh, and then I will have the I had. What is here? It is. I lost the thingy. It is V2. For some reason, it looked like V squared, but it's V2. Okay. And then here, if I just take note if I make any mistake, but I hope I don't. And then here, I'll have that r of v2 all over r1 and here there will be a common factor remember multiply by rf there will be a common factor of minus v negative and then if i take that common factor you take r uh, f minus r1 and this is going to be plus because i took a common factor of negative and then the, these one cancel right i don't know this cancel that one and then and then v minus i already took it out so it's plus one 
to go to negative v naught. Okay, that's very interesting. That's left. And uh, let's see. Remember, I've been emphasizing that v minus and vf are almost uh, the same thing. Like almost these two are the same. So I can just make this one v plus because I've been talking mostly about v plus. And then remember, v plus had something here that we already solved for. So we can just sub it here. So these are type of form where it's very easy to make a mistake. So I hope that you guys notice if I do make one. This would be v2 minus v plus would be v1 r3 r over uh, r2 plus r1 close open rf over r1 minus 1 close is equal to negative v naught it doesn't look promising but let me be careful to see what is happening in here Unfortunately, that's exactly how it should look like. But we result that I was also expecting. I was expecting result like v naught is going to equal to some constant in v2 minus v1. I mean, v1. So for typical that differentiates differentiating or subtracting amplifier. So this, this, this thing. Well, let me just go take it back. So I think I'll need it. This is exactly equivalent to this. But on some conditions that maybe you make some r equals to the other one, you can get the desired result like this one. So most of the time if you're doing these problems, it's normally maybe this r is r1, maybe this is r2. So make it simplify and look good in the end. So... If you're in this case, mostly you, you expect it to get results that look like this one. But for practice and knowledge for purpose, this is how it look like. But most of the time, maybe some R is equal to some other R and then it's going to cancel and look very nice in the end. So thank you and don't forget to comment if there's something you don't understand. Or also, if you have some problem that really look, that really give out some nice results, you can tell me how to do it. But this one is a very correct, just that the, the circuit that I was studying really doesn't look very nice because all of the resistors are actually different. Normally, maybe the R1 would be repeated here, repeated here, and R2 be repeated here to make it look more beautiful in the solution. So, thank you.